I carry three felons. Um, the first one I want to talk about, it's got the skull die uh, by my buddy Nate Switz from Virginia from Roanoke. Thanks, buddy. Uh, this, this die he does is awesome, but this is uh, the first felon I was ever given. So it's definitely the most seasoned, the most broke in. I really like using this sidearm. Um, for everything how I love the convict, this felon is just the next stability up. So I can throw it pretty much the same way and I don't have to worry about it, like not worry about it, but the convict I want to use if I want to get some turn, this felon just goes really straight and then has hyzer at the end. Um, you'll see me throw this a lot, especially in the woods, especially on upshots. The next one I have is a Fusion uh, Captain America Shield Dimax. Uh, this felon I use backhand. Almost, I almost always use the skull one si uh, sidearm. This one I use backhand strictly only. It's got a little bit of little bit of pop in the middle, and it's just got a great dependable fade. Um, I use this disc a lot out in the open, probably around 350 down down to 300, um, just throwing smooth hyzers. Uh, comes in handy in the woods too for shaping shots, starting it on a little bit of turnover, letting it flat and come out. But love the felon. And the last felon I use is a prototype Lucid. Love this disc. It's, it, it also has the lift in the middle, a little bit of pop, and it's just, it's got that over stability that you can just count on always. Um, I do throw this one backhand and sidearm, but mostly sidearm. If I need a little bit more hyzer than the, the skull felon will give me, then this is the one I'm going to throw. If I've got to start the sidearm out on a little bit more angle, like on turnover, and have it come out, I'll definitely use the prototype. It's just, it's got a little bit more hyzer and it's, it's always, I can always trust it to come back. This is a Biofusion Felon and it's very predictable, very good in the wind and very good in all situations basically. Felon, very predictable disc for hyzers, spike hyzers, anything that's not 300 feet, past 300 feet is going to work well for you. I throw the Felon and I've got two Felons here. I've got one that's a fluid felon, which to me is a little more stable than my fusion felon. The fusion felon I'll use if I want to get some skip. Um, again, this is super stable. It's going to, if I throw it out to the right, it's going to come back to the left. And again, I get much more skip with this fusion than I do with the, the fluid one. I think the fluid one, I, maybe it's just mental, but I, I think it grips the ground a lot better. So I carry four felons in all in different stages of wear. So overstable, this one's just brand new, pretty much. I had a couple rounds under his belt, but I use this just when I need that sure finish left. I can throw it hard, trust it. So I'll always keep a new fresh felon in the bag for that. This was actually the first felon I ever got when I made the switch, and it's still one of my most overstable felons. I want more like it. Definitely something I can trust. That overstable flight is awesome. An old trilogy friend turned me on to these. They're the Puddle Top Fusion Felons, and these are great because they actually go pretty straight and I can get them to hyzer flip when I mash on them. They just, they work and uh, it's a great workhorse. I can throw it for good sidearms. This is a 172. Most of those are high, heavier weights, but this works. Uh, I trust this disc a lot and I can throw it nice and smooth. This felon was an oddball that I got. It felt really overstable, but the moment I threw it, it wasn't. It actually was kind of flippy and now I've beat it up nicely so it's just a, a tick more than a convict. So I love using this one when I need that extra finish left where the convict is going to finish a little bit more straight. So this is a great one. I love this one for hyzer flip backhands and turnover backhands that I need to come out. Uh, I only use the felon when I'm trying to do a skip shots because uh, the felon really does skip well. Um, I also use it uh, when I throw a big spike hyzers. Um, for me, it just uh, I can grip it pretty good for that, and it seems to be a spike hyzer better than any other disc that I have. Um, but that's why I carry the felon for the skip shots and the spike hyzers. Um, I like the fusion ones right now because I can get them a little bit beat in, and I can throw them hard and flat in pretty much any condition, um, and they still get a very nice predictable fade at the end. Um, I actually throw it in the woods a lot, believe it or not, because I can put a little bit of anhyzer on it, and it'll hold that nice straight line before it fades out at the end, so it doesn't get a lot of travel, which is really, really nice. Everyone, I'm sure, throws a felon. Um, Lucid Felon is a great, great, great disc. Um, very reliable, overstable finish. 
um, pretty much like an enforcer, but a little bit shorter. Uh, I had trouble initially getting used to the felon, and uh, this has become a, a go-to now. It's not quite as far for me. I can't get uh, I can't get a really long throw, but I'm I'm developing a forehand, and this is invaluable to me on a just a repeat, dependable basis, I can throw the forehand with this and count on a nice clean release and a great shot to the bucket from, you know, say two, 275, it's gonna be coming in pretty, pretty overstable. Um, I use, don't really use this off the tee very often, but I get out of trouble shots that I really want to skip. Um, I use it on a sidearm a lot, I use it backhand. They don't go that far for me, maybe 200 feet but they're super reliable and they're good in wind too. They're always gonna do pretty much the same thing for me.